All right, here we go again. September 7th, 3.11 p.m., detention center, visitor's room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you... you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? About the man uh, who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to give her. Talk. Okay, how about that wiretap? Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude. <laughs> Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. But bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Uh, I don't think there's anything that I can present her. Yeah, I think I have to uh, go out and about. Ooh! There's something that's different. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Okay, let's do something new here. What's this? Old photos? There are two of them lying here. Something's been written on, in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident, Exhibit A. DL6 Incident, Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. I'll take it! No one will ever know! Photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with this one I the one I took. Yeah, because I think I'll need that photo to get the psycho bitch to talk. Photograph added to the court record. Wait, does that mean I can swap it again? Yes. Maybe I should. Nah. I don't want to give up the spot in my inventory. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of, uh, sunflowers. Marvin Grossberg. <laughs> of, uh, fishermen. Oh, uh, wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else different. So, I'll spare you from examining everything again. Um... Maybe I should stop off at a few places before I go back to the detention center. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Oh, uh, Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a, a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out uh, one of these days. Remember, there's something about this goofy plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. The sky is blue, and I and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. All right, let's visit the hotel. Then we'll go back to the detention center. 
Uh, September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh, bellboy. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Oh, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today had uh, can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murder... Used to use a, the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be for business. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry a carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Ooh, photo, hmm. Hmm. All right, sir. Look at this photograph. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say, detective once, you know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. <laughs> Well, henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit added to the court record. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Okay. We got one more thing to talk to him about. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, sir. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A, a subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Okay. I think we got what we need. To the detention center. You again! Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't have... You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Okay, I got some things to show you, sweetie. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you... Where did you get that? Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Don't do you have proof that was him? Hmm. It, yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Could you have a look at this? What's that? That's the bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything we, everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. He was the most, he was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use in playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. But what? Even though he should have been witness he should have been witness to murder 
your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, you'll just... I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White at last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit, affidavit discarded. Okay, um, I guess, is there anything else to talk about? Nope. Uh, Blue Corp. Here we go. We're just moving right along, aren't we? What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What is your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. Wordedly challenged, I think he said. What a fruitcake. Uh, that's uh, not appropriate. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Okay. Uh, Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. Oh, that's a horse. What a shock it was to hear she had what she had done. What she had done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place? My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, I didn't know you were into reggae. Uh, the hotel boy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt she'll be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing Miss, as Miss April May. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as, founding and, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. 
Of course. Fan tabulistic, is it not? Uh, sure, buddy. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? A, that big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being... My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your, your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, ha, a, a lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, not a... Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grodyberg. What? What? Ugh. Oof. Uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand it is a world beyond your comprehension. You came here from Grodyberg's, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Okay, well, I'm going to have a look around. Uh, let's see. Window. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. This painting was, until yesterday, hanging in Mr. Grossberg's office. Why does White have it now? Not hard to imagine a few possibilities. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge, judge's special runner-up, best participation, judge cooperation award, special good try prize. Hmm, the word, the words judges and special kind of stand out. He probably strong-armed them into giving him something. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. That would be Atlas uh, Phoenix. The model of the man is, of course, Mr. White. What is with the uh, the Choaniki desk there? Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my, uh, this is quite the thing. All right, all right, let's get out of here. Cause I, I know where I need to go. Back to Grossberg's. <clears throat> oh, you're in. Uh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! <clears throat> Jumping to house of rat! Oh, you! Oh, what, what's wrong? You looked so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. <laughs> I'm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something really, Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. Okay, let's have a chitty chat. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Um, something was bothering me all last night. You see, I I couldn't get a, a wake of sleep. Really? What what was what was that? Well, you, you see, it's just Mia's sister. That 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 poor girl. My boy, I I owe you my thanks truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Um, I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I, I think I have a right to know. Uh, a right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, I, I, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, uh, I, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, um, well, um, I see, um... Uh, Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. 
Oh, um, 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 what is it? I, well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just, um... <laughs> that painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. Uh, so, you, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Uh, connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's... <laughs> sure. It's not something I can claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? But what? My, my boy, you sent that painting to him as a sign, a sign of undeni undying love. But my boy, please, you're letting your fancies run away with you. Where did you get those bizarre ideas? I, I don't understand how you... That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it. They are lovers. No, we are not lovers. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying him for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident. As you may have guessed, the name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting uh, Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do, to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than weight, uh, the weight of many years. Many years of uh, eating at Mickey D's, perhaps. Uh, the DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A, a medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what this is what Mia was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remained unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? I offered him riches. It was an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for one who... They began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for, for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Um, okay. Should I grab the photo? Oh, I guess the other photo's gone. Okay. I guess I was never supposed to take that one anyway. Back to the law offices, I guess. Hmm. 
funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have a, another look around. I guess we should start with the bookcase. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Starting with A, B, C. D. Have you ever seen, um, what, what's that movie? Uh, uh, what was it, Vampire's Kiss or something? It, it was a bad Nicolas Cage movie. You know, Some of you out there know what I'm talking about. Um, they're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look here. Which file should I look at? Um, well, I guess, let's see if there's a record. There's a record in this file that catches my eye. Aha, A, B, F, Misty Fay. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yeah, read it. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the, that information to the press. This parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and coercion, his name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Okay. Okay, let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of these. Yeah. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here at the end is S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Uh-oh. There's writing on most of the, these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. All right. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, we got one more to check. T, U, I know. W, White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Mm, okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we go back to... Let's go to Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. We gotta talk, buddy. Let's see. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this. It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how... I found this article in Mia's office. <coughs> Miss Mia? She had a file fi uh, filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word white Mr. White I know what you did to this politician you were blackmailing him blackmail not just him either you were threatening and coercing hundreds of others you were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated this company is built on blackmail I'm right aren't I what a bizarre accusation Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. 
secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send some someone right away. Wait a second. Mr. Mr. White. You're wrong, Mr. Right. Mr. Ha, ah, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about, your mysteri about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work out... Oh, sorry, it's Phoenix talking. Even a child could work out... Work it out, Mr. White. You did it. You, we won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that's you? What are you doing calling me at this at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor? I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus... As a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? What now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Uh, <clears throat> quietude. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer, the killer man. What? Mr. Mr. White, this isn't another one of those... Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. Uh, how, how dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry butts. Right, actually. Phoenix right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. September 8th, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center. Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it too, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me uh, by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an I, I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh, now I'm afraid we've switched we've switched places. What you mean you I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... <laughs> defend me in court. Help me break out of here. Cheer me on. Well, you could cheer me... You could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Uh, uh, yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me. Huh. I'd better get 
<laughs> go get a uniform and some pom-poms. But wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? I, I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning, uh, beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a, in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. <clears throat> with the true culprit appearing as the star witness, this is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. That was kind of a short chapter. All right, save your progress. I think, uh, oh, it's 5, th I'm going to go have uh, some breakfast, and then we'll uh, pick up with the end of the trial. So don't you go nowhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> 